Hello friends, welcome back. For custom content types, like in the first video, we already seen then how we can uh, make sure that uh, using the show in rest through uh, your custom post types uh, will be available into the yeah, in uh, have a REST API routes, like right? similarly for the movies and uh, like we have did for a movie. Here, if you go here, the arguments of the REST API. So in REST, we have changed REST based from movie to film and using the default controller, okay? So, so this uh, handbook page is for the how we can add uh, REST API support for a custom post types. And if it's already sub, it's like a REST API or uh, the custom post types registered by the third party plugins but it's not available for the rest so it, it does not provide the rest support and you can use the filters right so you can you can use that filter uh which one is that filter if you register go to the register this one register post type rags right this this filter will call when we'll call the register post type so if you go here and click on the register post type um and if you go to this wp post type uh sad props go to the sad props and here you can see that filter right so this filter we can use to to make to change the arguments for a third part for the custom post types which are registered by the third party plugins okay so yeah that's uh that's about uh, adding the uh, support for the custom content types then you can go through the schema uh here you will learn about the schema and why it's important right and how what are the arguments for the schema how you can pass this one and what are the types of the schema like where schema title then type and the properties you can pass and these are the primitive types right string number integer which we have seen uh, for the register meta as well right and they provide all the information about that schema and that formats and how we can how we can add the schema for the different types of uh, uh, type of content right so you can go through it to learn more about uh, schema okay and uh, there are some change log as well and this change log is very helpful right so if you are developing a plugins which are available and if that plugins are used across the different types of different wordpress versions and if you are making use of some of the like uh, newer changes which are available to latest version but not an older version then this change log is very helpful to just keep in mind that how how we can give a support for the older versions too okay it's so otherwise it may if the functions have been registered in the newer version and if you are calling it and if the plugin have been used on older version then probably it will break or give the fatal error because that function does not exist right and then similarly you can also learn about the controller classes right about the post controller terms controller and what are the use cases and how you can use this what are the filters you can see and you can use that functions and methods and everything okay so you can also go through this handbook uh, handbook page okay and then routes and endpoints like you can learn from uh, routes versus endpoints right so this called the route and whatever the endpoints are the endpoint get put delete or whatever the methods we have that's called the endpoint right because on the same route we have multiple endpoints because it also supports get method and the post method as well to create the post right uh, like if you go through the post controller here you can see we have rest based like fill we have readable um, endpoint and we have creatable endpoint where in the readable we can pass the list of the movies in the creatable we can create the movie post or the person uh, or the post any like any custom post types okay so yeah and creating the endpoints we already seen register routes and everything yeah about a namespace do not place anything into the wp namespace okay so this is uh, important to know about it and few other things the various HTTP methods callback functions endpoint callback permission callback what are different types of arguments validation how we can add validations to sanitization callback right so these are the all things are the important one so you can go through this one as well to understand more about the rest api and how we can extend the rest api yeah thanks for watching see you on the next one Jai Varpres.